Hey, Jim. Hello. So today what we're going to do is look at a, a very simple um, troubleshooting thing on our filter press. Um, this is the best filter press in the industry. This is a stainless steel uh, press. This one happens to have an air diaphragm pump. That's my little plug for it. It's just, I have to mention it because it's hands down. <laughs> okay. Like so much better. What are we troubleshooting today? Yeah. Anyway, um, it happens in shipping. There's a, a, a couple of actuator switches, um, air driven actuator switches inside this pump um, that get out of uh, alignment, I guess. Um, in, it, it can happen in shipping. It can also happen if you tip it over on its side, if you do that for some reason for cleaning or, or like if you tip it on its side to get it off of a shelf or whatever the hell happens. Um, I'm going to dig into it and just show you. This problem would be, th this, this troubleshooting thing would be the first thing I look at if you give the pump air and it really reacts not at all. Like if it, if you, if you can hear the pump kathunking, kathunk, 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 that's like a common kind of rhythm that the pump should have when it's working. Um, if it's doing that, then, then this is not, what I'm about to show you is not happening with your pump. If it's kathunk, kathunking, and there's, it's not pumping, then that's a different video. All right, that's a different thing. Um, this, this would identify itself by virtually nothing happening. When you, so, put the, when you put the air on, you might hear a little bit of hissing, maybe, but nothing's happening. Um, so use a, a wrench, at least an adjustable wrench or any kind of a box end wrench. Don't use the channel locks on here. Um, just don't do it. Pop that cap open. That comes off. This is where you connect your air from your air compressor. That actually goes in right here. That, this is just a little removable thing to keep dirt out of it. Um, now take a look inside here. So when you, when you take this cap off, um, you should look in here and be able to see these two actuator switches. One, the bottom one you see is to the right, <laughs> the top one is to the left. Um, in shipping, it might be that they're both off to the same side, all right, or they're both in the middle or whatever. Um, it doesn't matter what they are as long as they're opposing. Like right now, the bottom one is to the right, the top one is to the left. It'll also work like that. Um, in normal operation, these will always be opposing one another. Um, this would only, it would only be in non-opposing configuration in the event that it was dropped, or like I said, in shipping. A lot of these things, we've had really good success shipping these in FedEx. And of course, those packages get laid on their side and whatever the hell. Um, so uh, that's why it has to be mentioned as it pertains to when you first receive it after shipping. Um, even still, even after it's shipped, it's relatively rare that we ever hear of someone having this struggle, but I guess it's worth making a video so it, it, it can happen. Um, well, just it's um, easier to explain with a visual than mm -hmm. trying to explain over the phone. So they should always be one to the right, one to the left. They can't be both on the right or both yep. on the left. And, and they can't both be in the center. Yeah, they have to be... They have to be opposing. Really, you'd never open that cap and find that they're in the center. That would never, that would never be in how it operates. You'd never see that. And I think that kind of does it. I mean, those things can also come out of there, but not when you're, not when the cap is on. When the cap is removed, you can actually pull these little um, switches off of their prongs. Mm. All right. And those should always be lubricated. You'll see there's like a white lithium lubricant in there. Um, it probably is a food grade lubricant, but honestly it doesn't have to be because this is on the side of the pump that doesn't have any access to the, to the syrup. Um, you should be lubricating these pumps, at least with air tool oil. Better yet, you would take this apart once in a while and put some, some grease on those. But honestly, for how little use a filter press um, pump sees in a normal application, um, going in there and putting more grease in would typically not be, uh, you know, very advantageous. Air how, tool oil helps a lot. How do you apply that? You just apply it directly? What, yeah. You take the cap, cap off? I, yeah, take the cap off. I would take these actuators off and wipe some grease on there. Your best bet for, for maintenance on these things, though, really is to um, 
just use air tool oil and put a couple of drips in the port in the airport when you're using it regularly. Slam dunk. Yeah. Super All right. Easy. So the expectation now, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to put the cap back on. After those are in opposing directions, you're going to hook it back up to your air compressor and it will pump normally. It'll start right up. Yeah. Yep. You bet. Sweet. Well, this is what it boils down to. This is what it boils down to.